everybody, welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, December 6, 2019. And yeah, I'm going into town, and well, that short lived day of sunshine uh, wasn't uh, around very long. Look at that, all overcast, ugly, really ugly. I just came through a big bank of fog, and uh, now I'm getting a little bit of sunshine. So, Maybe this morning isn't going to be as good as yesterday morning. Anyway, I'm going to go do some quick shopping. Uh, put some supplies into the cabin for my guest that's coming in a couple of days. And let it go from there. I just figured I'd uh, cover this. But uh, I was uh, also noticing that from all those rains we had, there sure was a lot of flooding on uh, this highway. And... Uh, I just passed a bunch of them, but I'm on a high spot right now. We'll be coming up to a low spot here in a minute. And uh, normally the low spots are where the flash flooding comes through and uh, the mud comes across. And the uh, day before yesterday when it was raining, I remembered looking down towards the highway and I saw the uh, maintenance trucks with their yellow lights flashing. And uh, they use snow plows to clean the mud off the roads so that it, they're passable. I saw them going up and down through this section, uh, oh, probably half a day at least. Uh, here's a big puddle up ahead here. Doesn't look like it got across the road though. And let's see. Yeah, notice that they put these uh, barriers up on the center of the road. This is Highway 395. and. Uh, they put these barriers up so there is no passing anywhere except once you get down into town there's a passing lane and uh, you just can't pass out here so you get stuck behind a slow truck like I'm going to in a little while here yes you're stuck you're not going anywhere you're just gonna follow that truck at 55 or 60 miles an hour whatever he's doing so let's see now, it doesn't look like the roads in too bad a condition And this is daytime headlight section. Everybody's supposed to have their headlights on, but only about 20% of the people obey that. Everybody else just says the hell with it. And another thing about these uh, having these barriers in the center of the road is you can't pull a U-turn and go back if uh, if you forgot something or anything like that. You got to go up to the next intersection and then. Uh, at the next intersection, you can uh, they have a space between the barriers where you can turn around and go the other direction. Of course, a couple of people weren't patient enough to do that. I saw uh, just uh, maybe a few days after this, uh, they put these barriers up. Oh, there's a flooded sign right there. Now this area usually right down the next dip. I've come through here where um, this hold uh, the next dip down here is completely flooded with maybe a foot and a half of water going across and a, a riverbed running across. Uh, th yeah, this area down, right down through here usually gets pretty bad. Doesn't look bad right now. It, uh, it usually comes right out through here and just fills this whole section of road. So I guess if you didn't get it that much flash flooding, just uh, probably a little bit of mud and debris on the roads. All right, well, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm just going to uh, close this one off. And uh, as soon as I get up over the hill here, um, you can see the mountains. And it looks like there's some fog in the pass. But uh, I'm not going that way, so I don't care. All right, everybody. G-Bear signing off.